Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for November 12th to the 18th of 2018. So, well, let's see what's going on with you. So, the mutual or overall energy between you and your partner or love interest for Aquarius. So, there may be love there between you and them. Um, usually, if there's not literally true love you might not feel it just yet there's something or an opportunity that can uh, transpire between you and them so um, either dealing with the water sign sometimes it's just having compassion for somebody feelings that you would like to grow or um, just feeling happy to be around somebody or anticipating a connection all right so let's see a person coming towards you go to sleep where is person coming towards you where is that so they are open to other options or trying to figure out whether or not to keep you as an option because you might be keeping them as one. Um, it just depends. So always remember that Ace of Cups is an opportunity, right? It's there for the taking. Um, if you're to open, be open to it. If it's to be nurtured and for something to grow, but um, we'll see. What might your what might you be bringing towards them? You're not communicating. All right. Um, so feelings with the Ace of Swords in reverse, that's another Ace. So it seems like, yeah, I might feel like this towards them. But um, if they aren't really keeping me as their primary partner or primary option, um, I'm not doing it either. So you might not be communicating with that person this week, shutting down um, or letting them know about your feelings. Um, what might they be uh, responding with their response? Yeah, they're worried about all their options or the fact that they um, don't really understand how you might be feeling. So really up, you know, stress out and constantly in their head. So usually a lot of them anxiety, personal anxiety or tension that might be there. So let's see um, your response. Okay, let's see what's your response. Queries. It's like when you have the chariot, it's like you're just going about your business. You kind of do other things and you focus on maybe traveling a little trip. Um, but feeling confident and secure in your own happiness and kind of doing your own thing. That's what it seems like. Um, it's like, hey, it's okay. Um, what might be your fear? Fears for Aquarius. Um, it's <laughs> accepting. Um, maybe it's like you... <laughs> If I feel, if I see that, it's like, hey, I have love for somebody. The Ace of Cups is showing up with the Two of Cups. If you feel like there's a soulmate union that's potentially there, some of you might fear, like, that might take away your independence or your freedom. Or if you're not really clear about that connection. I just said that to, um, well, Capricorn had that same, they had Seven of Cups and they had a Two of Cups. Interesting. Um, but that fear of understanding or you know, trying to um, figure out whether somebody is your soulmate or not and to date them or to open up to newer people or to take time to get to know somebody it just depends there and clarify the uh two of cups for aquarius yep you have the five of cups and usually um it's almost like separation from somebody who you feel may be your soulmate um and you feel like there could be a long-term relationship between you and that person but the it's not ideal the time is not right between you and them right now maybe it did require that some of you or the other person had to be single first in order for you to be together which is the appropriate way to do it um instead of having other people entangled in a relationship it's not good uh, let's see and then the outcome for aquarius Here we got the eight of cups which is the energy of moving on so there is a, a loss that's taking place right now even if I feel like there might be um, a soulmate union that's there, I don't feel like the both of you are ready for one another. Some of you have, have moved on from somebody because uh, the love is just, it wasn't there anymore. And that may have been required in order for you to run into a newer love or um, a newer opportunity, the right steps. So I see messages for a in love, November 12th to the 18th. Hold on. It says, for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. For some of you who didn't, you know, see a way out of a marriage or relationship, or you've been trapped and waiting for another person, and they have not been coming towards you. So, what else can you do but to focus on other things? Um, 
keep your options open as well but just uh, do you right now and try to be happy take a trip take a break uh, away from whatever has been draining you messages for Aquarius on November 12th what do you think and then new love <laughs> it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so this that's what it seems like it seems like a process of uh, running into your soulmate or a person that you might be meant to experience a relationship with but not until the time is um, necessary so it's taking a break that person might not be ready you might not be ready and some of you um, you might not be revealing all that what you feel as well so really kind of doing your own thing uh, traveling kind of getting out of it. I feel like you'll be confident and strong this week but you'll still be having that on your mind uh, a bit all right so that's your reading I hope the messages did help out in some way tons of love lots of light to you tons of feeling vibes I wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something personally for you have a good one